happening right now. The great conjunction, the two largest planets in our solar system are aligning in the night sky. Dan stepped outside to take a look. It's a fantastic view from up here on Montesano. Not sure one of the best views probably in the city. We even have some neighbors here who have joined us to take a look at it. You know, we mentioned earlier that Jupiter and Saturn align every 20 years or so, but this one is so unique for a couple of reasons. First of all, because of how close these planets are getting to each other. Within a tenth of a degree, they're going to look like a bright point of light in the star. Joseph's going to zoom in right behind me over my shoulder, and you'll be able to see just how, how it looks right now. That happened 400 years ago, 1623. Galileo was actually still alive when it happened. The problem is he couldn't see it because it happened during the day. What makes this one so special is it's happening at night, and that hasn't happened in 800 years. I talked to an astronomer today, David Weigel at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, who said this celestial show should not be missed. And it will be, you know, quite fun to look at. Um, what I think is perhaps most exciting is that from the naked eye, you're going to see it as a single point. But when you look at it through binoculars or through a telescope, in that viewpoint, you'll be able to see distinctly Jupiter, distinctly Saturn, and then four of Jupiter's moons. You know, this is often called the Christmas star. You've heard that in the last few days. Obviously, it's happening just a few days before Christmas. And astronomers have been able to actually trace this event back thousands of years to within a couple of years of when Christ was actually born. They think that this conjunction along with a nova that was happening 2,000 years ago is what led the Magi, the star of Bethlehem, to the birthplace of Christ. It's kind of a, a reminder straight from the heavens of what this Christmas season is really all about. Naja, Rob, back to you. All right.